Hey guys, welcome back to Flying in Space with Planet Head. This is kind of an impromptu video I'm going to do because I wanted to do it last night, um, but I wasn't as awake as I wanted to be. Um, and it revolves around my initial impressions or my kind of beta feels or what I kind of know about um, gankers, the differences between gankers and gate campers. And so I'm going to try to name the video after that. Um, I've been trying to think about this a little bit lately. I did a video earlier this week, kind of just my random daily video about uh, gankers, I think. Um, and I think sometimes people get gankers and gatekeepers kind of... Um, I'm sorry, gate... Uh, I just said it. Gate campers separated. Maybe I need more sleep. Um, <laughs> but, um, so, uh, yesterday I'd wanted, I was out in Nolsec and I wanted to, um, get to an area where I could watch some gate, some gankers, because I've watched those a little bit. And I, I had noticed out while I was in Nolsec, some gate camping that was going on. Then, um, I got some really great comments, um, in regards to, uh, gankers, um, in the comment stream, so I wanted to carry those over, um, and, but I wanted to have some video footage of each, um, and then, uh, I woke up this morning, did my, uh, future videos for my, uh, 15 day segment that I'm working on, and then, uh, honestly, went, got some breakfast at my favorite coffee shop, and then went and got some coffee, and booted up my laptop, and lo and behold, um, there was a gate camp going off in, and I have never been here, I don't think, unless I've flown through it. Abazon. Uh, Abazon. Abazon. It's a point four system in low sec. Um, how did I know it was there? Uh, because I just went into the um, uh, the internal map and looked for ships destroyed in the last hour. And then I just went running toward <laughs> um, the uh, closest place that had things being blown up. You notice here, there have actually been 75 ships blown up in the last hour here. Um, so I am, then I recorded about five minutes or so of a gate camp that was going on. And then uh, drove home and decided to make this video. So my kind of goal here is I'm going to show you some of the footage of what I saw as far as gate campers. And my this is all my feels uh, about, and my thoughts about gate camping. And then... I'll try to include, um, as I'm flying, the comments that you guys have given in regards to your feelings on gate camping, but also some info that you have given me that has allowed me to learn a little bit more. And if, if it creates commentary on it, um, that's great. Uh, straight up, I, I probably said this in the past, I have no problem with either gate camping or uh, gankers. Um, I do think that uh, the, the ganking part of it um, is um, they could tool that. TCP could tool that to make it a little, um, a little bit less uh, easy. Um, and I have one small fix. You guys have brought up some interesting fixes in the comments. But maybe in the comments here we can get some more information on that. And uh, the more people watch and give their input, Maybe people will see it. Um, so this is the aftermath. I literally uh, got my car, drove over um, to a store, did some shopping, and then ran home. And this is the gate that was being um, ganked at before. Now, I don't know if that, not ganked, gatekeeped before. Um, you notice there's a lot of wreckage here. Um, and let's see if I can pull up the old footage here we got a file blah 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 i probably should have had this up and ready before i did that and all i did was just record it um freaking love ted lasso you know me and ted lasso uh we're looking for videos videos there we go so this was the one that i'm currently recording this is the last one that i just did a little while ago i think this is it <laughs> um, 
So you can kind of hear, I'm actually not at home right now. I'm at the coffee shop. Uh, let's see if I can get the sound down here. Sorry about that. I haven't actually looked at this since I was there. So um, basically, <laughs> right here, um, I'm trying to uh, point out that I'm in Amazon and I was looking to fly to the area that had the most ships destroyed. And then I'm going to make an excuse for flying through this gate um, and point out that I know that I'm probably going to die going through here, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> I think I, I sit here and I'm like, see, see, I know... I, I, I know that a bunch of people have died here. See, there's 72 ships. Um, and then I'm going to pull up Dotland, uh, if I remember correctly. I was watching some uh, videos there. And this is what I'm going to show you. So let me go ahead and pause it here. What I'm doing here is I'm saying, hey, I am right here currently. I'm about to go into this gate. Um, and... Uh, there is probably a gate camp here. How do I know that? Because Jita is right here. And I think if I remember correctly, I point out that when you go through this gate, it's the only low sex system connecting uh, this region and Genesis. So you have to go through. Yep, I'm circling right there. Um, and there's two entrances to here from this side versus... Um, one entrance on this side so it's really a good idea so i already know there's a good chance that i'm going to be uh uh blown up at a gate camp right here i cross my fingers oh i guess you guys can't actually see that can you um i didn't even realize that so there's me drinking some coffee and going through this gate i just crossed my fingers um and i'll just cover my so you're not seeing double did that the other day um, it was kind of fun but um, I want to keep this area over here open so I did so this is me about to go through the gate knowing that there's gate campers on the other side but having the cheetah um, I'm learning a little bit more about what I need to do so as I roll through here over here should pop up with a bunch of ships and a bunch of red and yellow there we go so you notice here there's a ton of ships and a bunch of wreckage. Not as much wreckage as there is right now, um, which, you know what, I am going to pull up here and make sure I'm not dying. I am still good. Okay. Um, actually, I might as well dock up down here. Hold on one second. Pause, 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 pause. Why am I sitting out in space? Even though I'm tethered, why am I being stupid? There we go. Um, so long story short, I rolled out and there's me <laughs> at this point. I'm actually wiping my head. You can't see that. Um, and then I think I'm whistling to myself. So then I'm actually kind of trying to figure out where this gate camp is. So, um, I, I actually warped back to it and then I started checking out each one of these ships to see who were, they were part of. Um, these ships that are sitting on this gate. Um, I didn't know some of them. I don't know the inner workings of different groups. I did come across one Goon Swarm member. Um, but uh, long story short, this is the fleet that was sitting on the gate. And this is considered gate camping. Um, what is the difference between gate camping and, and ganking, in my opinion? Uh, gate camping is where uh, you and... Um, a bunch of your friends get together and sit on a gate and either, and it can be done for a couple different reasons. You could be doing what these guys are doing, which it seems like they're just basically killing anything that's worthwhile coming through um, and getting their stuff. And it's very close to being a gank, but they have created a fleet and it looks like a lot of, the, there's probably multiple people playing each one of these characters and they are targeting individuals and trying to blow things up whereas and, and uh or now that's a gate camp and they're sitting on the gate um whereas uh and it can be used for this profiteering it could be used for defense you know that a fleet's coming toward you from another group and you 
into your alliance area so you set up a defense at a gate that would be considered gate camping um you could uh when i was up in uh pure blind i think it was just now there was a gate camp there where people were gate camping the jumps between high second i'm sorry low npc null sec going into um regular null sec defending that area or just looking for some profiteering but um, they're ready and willing. They're putting money on the line here with these battle cruisers and cruisers um, saying we're willing to, to take on things that come through here. At any point in time, somebody could launch a fleet and maybe try to knock these guys out. I'm not saying they can or they can't, but I'm saying that's what somebody could do. And they will sit on this gate for, I think I watched for five or ten minutes, but they could be there for an extended period of time. So that's what in my mind, what gate camping is. Um, and I'm not sure if anything else happens here other than maybe they kill one or two people. I don't think they actually got anybody while I was watching. Um, but this is something that I don't mind watching. I, there are specific fleet types that you can do. Um, I have gate camped once. Um, and it was, uh, I was actually probably eight years ago or so. Um, when I used to play, I actually joined the um, Eve University, if you can believe it. And Eve University actually at that time went out and gate camped. We took a bunch of, uh, there were probably 10 of us. We went, and I think a lot of us took some thrashers with us. It was a, a fleet composition. And uh, we had a plan set up that we were sitting at a gate. Now, if you sit at a gate for an extended period of time, then people can mount a defense on you. And you are able to be attacked right now now what i saw the other day and what i'm going to go try to find right now in the live game is what i i consider ganking and ganking is a different um uh method um it can be done by multiple people or it can be done by a single individual um and what the single individual would do is um they would uh, have multi-boxed uh, ships like Thrashers, things that do high DPS. Um, in general, now there might be other forms of this, and this is where my lack of knowledge comes from, but in general what I've gleaned is they usually fly destroyers, um, and uh, a lot of times they're either Thrashers or Catalysts, ships like that, that do a lot of high DPS uh, one-shots. And they, they form a blob with them. Um, and then there's usually um, two uh, industrial ships with them that would haul away the stuff. But basically, they would take these blobs and go and um, they would target somebody, lock it down, blow it up as quickly as possible. And, um, and usually this is one person or sometimes multiple, but a lot of times it's one. Um, and then when they blow that guy up, the gate guns would kill their ships because they're cheap, high DPS ships. Um, and then they use rookie ships, and this is information you guys gave me, rookie ships to then blow up those characters to get rid of the kill rights that are on them. Um, uh, so that's in general the difference. They're not putting themselves at risk. They're at, and what they do is they take these blobs of ships these uh and from what i have watched so far and there may be other tactics here but uh they will form up on a station that is right near a gate and be tethered and then when they see something and they tackle something that they might be able to kill they then so they can't be attacked at these stations because they're tethered up when they see something that they can kill then they warp to it very quickly and fire off as quickly as possible before they die and then their two industrial ships would then come in and pick up the loot that was left over. Um, and then get out of there. Um, and there's there's technical parts to that and how you have to set things up to do it. Um, but that is what I consider ganking. Now, another form of ganking would be uh, um, you don't have to wait on a gate. You can come into a system. They can, they can look for miners. This is how I got ganked back in the day. Uh, especially miners and retrievers who have low defensive values. 
Um, they can go and attack those as the blobs. Uh, they could um, look for high, high uh, uh, value ships and go after those, hunt those down. But not putting, in reality, not putting anything on the line. Um, they're not where the, the gate campers are investing in battleships and battle cruisers and other ships and sitting there and taking the chance that they may themselves be attacked. These gankers normally are sitting on gates tethered up and not having to worry about anything until they go kill something. So um, I hope that shows it there. Now I do have some comments. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get on the road here to... Let's pull up the live version here. So I've got a route to Dodixie. Um, I'm hoping that I can find a ganking area where I can show you the blob. Um, and I'll pick one system and go to it and see if there's a blob there. Um, actually, I could do a... Simple thing for me to do is look to see where there's been a lot of deaths. So we got Damelin. A lot of times these guys are in a high six system. So that is 18 jumps away. Now what I can do is see in the kill board. So do I already have the kill board up? Nope. Killboard. I, I, I have a link over here. Why am I doing a search on Google for it? Oh, maybe I should plan these videos out more. <laughs> um, have you ever noticed I make a lot of fun of myself? So, um, we're looking for Damelin. Is that right? There we are in Heimatar. Now, why am I looking at the system itself? Because I'm looking to see if uh, there are a lot of deaths. This is an overview. This isn't right. This is August 7th. Um, maybe those kills have not popped up. So, wait. I saw something there. Okay, yes. So, um, Norvos Odo um, is uh, a ganking group. Um, Norvos Odo are holding. Uh, if I remember correctly, Safety, they're part of an alliance or a group called Safety, or they might not be. There's another group called Code, if I remember correctly. There's Safety and Code, and both of those are your major ganking groups. doesn't mean other people do it. It just means they do it. But the fact that they killed somebody there means to me that most likely they are ganking out in Damelin. So how do I get there? What's the fastest way for me to get there? Um, right now that says 29 jumps. That's no fun. Is there a shorter route for me to get there that I can go check it out? A secure... 35 shortest not less secure shorter there we go so 18 jumps so I'm going to go ahead and pause this and then if I get to Damlin and they're still closing things I will go ahead and pull it back up so I will be back hey guys so I am unpausing it here because I thought on my way there to Damlin. I would show you some of the comments that came up um, on the last couple of videos that I did on where I saw some ganking going on and guys were pointing out some different things. Um, if anybody, I hope you don't mind that I uh, post these on here. I will be replying to all of you and thanking you for the input. Um, uh, basically, I just copied and pasted over the ones that were focused on ganking into a word document um so that um i could 
organize them a little bit and then whatever. Um, but if that rings a bell for anybody, once I go through them uh, and you have any other information, uh, please drop them in the comment section of this video. Anybody can read them there and then maybe down the more I learn from them, the better. Uh, like I said before, this video is, I'm not even sure if I said this, this video isn't against ganking or gate camping. It's showing you what they are for two reasons. Number one, how to recognize and possibly avoid them. Um, but number two, um, if you are interested in doing it, this is a kind of a basic overview of them. I think maybe down the road I'd like to do a very organized video as I learn more and more. Um, about how to do them um, and what to look out for or how to create them, that sort of thing. I'm more focused on the gate camping side of it because I not really care about ganking at all. I think I'd probably get pretty bored of it pretty quickly, but you never know until you try something, but I don't really feel like it. But the gate camping part of it really interests me because it can also be part of a fleet's tactic. Um... Let me put it this way. Let's say uh, you are fighting somebody in another group. You um, disengage. You start flying away. They start chasing you to try to track you down. But maybe they lose track of you. And then you decide to turn around and gate camp or meet up with somebody and form a defensive line. That would be another option for it. So um, I would in the future like to do a video that is more specific and a lot more structured than the one that I'm doing. I don't know when I can do that, but I thought I would just accumulate all the knowledge that I've gotten in the last week or so about them and just throw a piecemeal in here because you guys had some great comments that were out there. Um, so the other reason why... So I'll do that after I get to Damel in here. This might be a semi-long video. Um, but the reason, the other reason why I pulled this up was I was about to enter low sec here and I thought it might be interesting gameplay to watch. Because looking at the map, um, and I'm about to enter low sec and kind of go toward Damelin here in, through the back door. Um, if you look at the different systems that I'm going to be going through, there have been ships destroyed. Five in the last hour there. Um, four ships destroyed there in the last hour. Um, four there. Uh, two there. So you can see that there's... And this is faction warfare space. So um, there's a chance I might die, but it might be interesting. And there's a lot of action going on today. During the week, it's a lot quieter. So I thought it might be interesting to either you guys get to see me die or at the very least um, get to see me uh, dodge this stuff to get to Damelin. I'll get to Damelin, see if there are any gankers there, and so I can show you a visual of the blob that I was talking about. Once I'm done with that, if I'm still alive... Or even if I die, I'll just go through the comments that you guys have gone through and um, and see if that helps any of you guys, uh, that sort of thing. And then the end of the video. So so we'll go ahead and minimize that. We're about to go into low sec. Anytime you go from a high sec system to a low sec system, there may be people ga uh, setting up on that gate. So you always want to be careful. Um, and like I did, look to see if there's been any deaths recently. Doesn't mean that um, it, they haven't just started their gate camp or are targeting people, but it can allow you to be a little bit more careful. Like I'm going to try to be here. We're going to go ahead and jump through our gate there and see what happens. I really have no idea how long this video is going to go today. I could die on the other side of this gate, go through the comments, be done, or I could find some really interesting stuff on the way there. Um, if I see any possible battles, if there's a spike in volume, I may stop on the way there because that might be a little bit more interesting or there may be a blob in that system. Okay, let's uh, shut up while we go through the gate here. got eight people in system. I've got an endurance on gate. I think I'm okay. So now the other thing I am going to do is I'm going to learn from my mistakes and not go directly gate to gate. That is how I died a couple of days ago to a... Um,
Not a bomb. I die. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, since I know there's people in system, I could check these out and see what's going on in each one of these. But, um, I am going to go ahead and now I'm not seeing, I'm scanning out. I've got a Tormentor, possibly, but it doesn't look like I've got anybody on gate here. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump on through. Put my cloak up so they don't see me coming in. One thing, um, if there's anybody on the gate, they will have minimized their 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 um, directional scanning. So if somebody comes within a hundred one AU, they can see them coming in and they can start their um, uh, smart bombs. That's the word I was looking for earlier. In Nullsec, they can put up their uh, interdiction spheres and things like that, so they're not wasting time. Okay, so each one of these I need to be careful about. Um, I need to heed other people's. So we've got a bunch of rookie ships that died here. We've got three people in system. Planet, five, warp, cloak. Wait, that uh, I did a video a couple of days ago, if I remember correctly, unless it was one of the ones I didn't show, where I was practicing my uh, warp and cloak. Warp and cloak. You want to, when you hit the warp, um, there we go. Um, when you hit the warp, you want to uh, take your time and um, then like do a half a second before you hit the cloak because it may not register. That's what I've learned. Depending on your computer, I guess, or maybe your what you got set up. So I'm, I'm being a little bit reckless here because I'm wanting. I'm only about five jumps away from my target. Now, Damelin is interesting. It is not low sec. Okay? Um, it's the opposite side of low sec. Um, but it is a 0.5 system, which means that it could be a ganker system. Um, 0.5s and 0.6s are very good for gankers because they have a low Concord um, uh, presence. So they don't respond as quickly. So you can get more DPS in on the guys that you're trying to kill. Plenty of guys in the system, so we're going to go ahead and warp to 100. Control B, safe one. Just uh, not going directly at the gates so that the smart bombs, um, I don't possibly run into this. I have a better chance of avoiding them. If there are some. I'm also not seeing anybody here with any bad stuff on them. This is interesting. I, I didn't even realize it. Um, you forget about places that you hung out for for a little while. Um, a long time ago, I actually spent time... Ooh, what are you? Your coercer sitting on gate. Interesting. So I wonder if he's uh, just hanging out trying to pick off guys. Got 35 guys in system. Uh oh, careful, careful, careful. Planet. Let's go random four. Warp within 100. Control B. Safe one. Good enough. All I'm doing is just dropping some save spots as I'm going through. So if I ever come back here, I'll have them directly here. And I won't be warping. When I warp away from gate, I'm not having to do um, uh, the drop downs and do the planet and the whole thing. It makes it just a little bit faster. We do have 36 people in system. Oh, this is Amamake. So this is a major... But I'm not hitting cloak. So I need. I have to work on... The um, best way for me to put it is for years, well not years, when I used to play, uh, I did a lot of uh, mining barges and I flew a lot of Galente ships. And I did it so often that every time I warped away, I would um, pull on my drones with the hotkey. Um, to the point where I did it so often, I can't even tell, I think it's Shift-R, I think. Um, <laughs> but 
there are times now, even if I don't have drones out, I still do it that often. What I need to do is really focus on when I go through any gate, when I'm flying my cheetah, to um, hit my cloak every single time. That way, it'll get me used to it. But we are in Amamaki, which is usually a hotbed for destruction. Uh, but it is not. So let me just show you on the map here what I'm looking at. Hymatar. Yep. There we go. So um, Amamaki is very similar to Tama. It is a low-sex system here in Faction Warfare. Um, and a lot of people go through this way to come in this direction. Now, when I, this is just from me playing from a long time ago. I used to have a spot in Eiffelin because it had a research facility and it was low sec and it was off the beaten path. Um, and I would hang out down in here when I was trying out some faction warfare stuff for a little while. And what I noticed was um, a lot of people, when they're going from Rens to another place, their autopilot takes them directly through Amamake. So people would set up gates, gate camps right here. Um, now, a ganker is almost doing the opposite. They're going after high-level costing things um, that might be being hauled. Now, that hauler might think he's smarter than the average guy, and he's going to go through boss burger, burger here um, to get away from this gate. He's going to go, rather than go this way, he's going to take a couple jumps out and go around. Now, there's a chance that if this is a gank area, um, it's a 0.5 system. Rather than set up a gate camp here, um, if the guy's ganking people, he could be sitting on this gate in high sec, but a very low level high sec, and um, guarding this gate for anybody who's actually trying to avoid this to catch them off guard. There's a lot, and that's where I say I'm not against gankers and I'm not against uh, uh, gate campers. Because there is strategy involved in it. It is a piece of gameplay. Now, how do you outdo them? So, um, I'm in Damelin right now. Um, I'm sorry, I'm in Amamaki right now. So, we're going to go closer to... We're going to try to get to Damelin. But I'm not going to go. I'm going to go in the back door here. Um, yeah, it's going to go Golanor, then Boss Boger, and then the next one. So, um, the opposite could be true. Um, they could be like, hey, we're going to guard the gate coming out of low sec. Have no idea. So we're going to find out. If you ever want to uh, do some um, faction warfare or just get some fights, Amamaki is one of your hotbeds. Tama is one of your hotbeds. I'm not seeing a lot of sites open here, so that's telling me there's not a whole lot going on right now. But normally there is. It's one of the places, usually like number two to Tama as far as average deaths over a 24-hour period. Which means people are fighting. Okay, let's see if I remember. Um, there's a guy on system. Go to a planet. Planet. Four. Warp to 100. Wait a half a second. Cloak. Control B. Safe one. <laughs> set up a safe spot and we are good now here's the opposite you saw Amamaki which usually has a lot of action in Goma Gomor God whatever it's called um, oh I actually warped right next to this so it decloaked me I thought I warped to it at 100 I warped to the planet but not the um, customs office. Noticing a couple of sites up here. So people are opening up these um, faction warfare sites. So things might be going on here. So now that I've gone to the side, I'm going to jump at the gate. And I know I'm probably making mistakes here. I always do when I start talking, plus I'm incompetent. But at least I've got, I'm trying. And I have learned more from the comments that you guys have given me over the last couple months 
than I did the entire time when I used to play. Um, and if there's one reason to ever join an alliance or a corporation or just even a Discord channel, in my mind, it is that, that you can learn from other people faster. Um, so, or you can watch YouTube videos by stupid people like me. Uh, let's see here. So, blah, 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 blah. Nobody here. We got one guy out there. So we're going to warp to random planet. Warp to 100. Control B. One. Oop. Cloak it. Made that mistake. I need to cloak, then set up safe spot. Ah, and I went too fast. Dang it. Well, whatever. I'm going to remove that off just so I know that it's not a good safe spot. It's one problem I've had with the cheetah. It travels so fast. I'm so used to a uh, 3 or a 2 or even a 4 AU um, speeded ship during warp. I think this is an 8, which is massive. Um, navigate, yeah, 8 AU while in warp. That is huge. Um, might be more higher, but wow. Okay. Um, so we're going to jump into Damlin. Hopefully there's not a gate camp or a ganker camp on the opposite side of this jump. And then hopefully there's a blob that's out there. If not, I'll just go straight to the comments. If you guys want to find a blob, you, I'm sure you can find one. They'll kill you fast enough. Careful. Okay, we got 15 people in system. It is a high sex system, so I can still warp and make a safe spot, but I'm not too worried about it. I just don't want to sit on gate. I'm not going to bother cloaking up right now. Now, the other thing, too, as I'm seeing is there, nobody is flashing right here, and I'm not seeing any repeated names. So that tells me that the blob isn't here. A lot of times you'll see the same repeated names. You can do a quick look here, see if there's any type of um, either code or safety. And I'm not seeing any of these guys. So um, what may have happened... Oh, well, that would actually kind of make sense. If this is a mining area, and Z Killboard showed an orca destroyed, which I think, if I remember, was it. Um, I was just looking at Harbo while I was... Let's see here, Damalin. It was an orca. Okay, so this was a traveling gank group. Yeah, see that right there? I uh, lost 4.53 billion. Um, and they were killed by um, Norvos Orta. So the number of kills that happened there, uh, this just happened today. They killed this orca. Ooh, and they killed a pod that was worth $977 million. So they killed the orca, and then they also killed the pod that was inside of it that had a bunch of implants in it. Um, so rather than sitting on a gate, they went and found this guy to kill him. So that sucks. I'm sorry, man. That really, really sucks. Um, yeah. So that's all I have to say about that. Uh, long story short. So, um, I couldn't find the blob. I should have thought about that for a second. Uh, the blobs normally hang out in low sec. I'm learning. I'm learning. So let's go to the comments. Um, because I promised that. Because you guys had some really good comments on there. Um, and this is a lot of the stuff I've already repeated, um, but if I've forgotten something, that's why I like going through it. And I've already seen one thing I've forgotten, one thing I already talked about. So uh, this was from Paul. He commented that ganks using 13 destroyers normally have 15 in fleet, one transport ship for the loot, and one um, DST for its fleet hangar, and one transfer ship to clean up the loot to go yellow, also take into account is the destroy so basically he's saying there's two transport ships there um 13 and then 13 destroyers the destroyers do the damage the transport ships go get stuff 
the DST is there to halt things away. I think there's more involved here. Um, might be, I'm not sure, but uh, that's what I got from that. Um, this was actually kind of interesting, and I went and watched these. Um, Nigel Roberts says, check out uh, McGibo, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Le yeah, I am. Leungren? Leungren? Hey, that's maybe uh, channels for the different sites. So uh, I actually checked out McGibo, and I realized I had watched him a long while back because uh, I think his videos are like eight months old or the most recent one that I watched or the one that I had watched. There might be some other ones. Um, and he does videos where he's ganking. He's doing it from the ganker side of it, a single person ganking. And it was interesting to watch it because uh, you saw their their perspective on it. Now, I have not watched... Uh, is that a J or an I? I don't care. Um, uh, birth. <laughs> We're going to talk about Did not watch his yet. The funniest part for me that I was watching with uh, McGaibo, um did, did a very good job. He talks very well, very similar to the way I do. He just talks and talks and, um, but does it better than me. Is um, he ganked a ship, shot it, and then went and looted the wreck with one of his other characters, and another guy tried to loot the wreck while he was trying to get to it. And this is one way to fight gankers, is to take their goods. Um, and he uh, tried to personally message the guy um, and accuse him of trying to steal his stuff. Um, now, I make it sound worse than what it is, but it made me laugh because this is a guy um, who's very nice, uh, but is actually committing robbery and upset whenever somebody else tries to take the loot that he just robbed, or being rob robbing the robber, and he was trying to get into a conversation with him and accuse him of that, and uh, so it made me laugh. I actually turned the video off of that because uh, I had learned what I wanted to learn. But if you want to learn about uh, ganking, these are two great. I well, MacGyver was really good because I learned from his side. Um, I haven't watched uh, Birth's videos yet, or at least tried them out, but that was very interesting. And I kind of learned this probably isn't something that I want to do. But I did give me some ideas as to how to fight them, as in, like he was saying, you go and take their stuff, make it unworthwhile for them to do it. Um, Michael Weston brings up, Isk is a part, a, is a part of the ganking reason, a safer way to look at it. How much work is it for them to, and what is is their gain. Um, a proper fit DST can carry around a billion ISK all the time. So he basically says that if his if his DST is fit correctly, um, then gankers won't go after him because it will take too much ISK to build the ships to destroy his DST. Um, and uh, assume your cargo is being scanned, and if they can't scan your cargo, um, that they will take a chance. I've actually read this. Um, the irony is a lot of times there are things in EVE that allows people not to scan your cargo. And if you watch McGaibo, he shows you how he scans everybody's cargo that comes through. There's things that make it so that they can't scan your cargo. The irony is if somebody sees you doing this and having the stuff in there that you can't scan it may make you more of a target than the other guy. Yeah, because then they'll assume that you have something that's worthwhile. Um, an option of that might be to send through five different ships with the uh, things that, I don't ha know how much they cost, but the things that keep your ship from being able to be scanned. And then they have to choose between one of the five or maybe two of the five to kill. But if you send them through all through at the same time. Uh, Jenny Bender had a really good one here. Uh, and this is kind of the feeling, a big feeling that I have in regards to why I don't, I'm not against gankers or, uh, uh, gate campers. Uh, what a boring place high sec would be without gankers. I say that, um, from a perspective of a PB focused player who is doing most of the fun stuff in high sec and who is doing lots of hauling. So coming from a non, uh, ganker perspective as a PB person that hauls probably expensive things or somewhat expensive um they're not against it yes 
um, leaving players after they got ganked hurt CCP, but how many players they would lose if suicide ganking or high sec would be impossible. It's a harsh world, and I love it. I love PP um, L killing my people. Sorry, <laughs> you can tell I haven't read this before. I I kind of looked through these quickly, um, but it was over the course of a week. Um, so basically, she says she loves it. If, if Jenny, if you're a woman, um, and in many cases, you can even have a mature conversation with the guy who killed you. They analyze what you did wrong and what you can do to avoid it. Just do your homeworks before undocking. So basically, they're saying, and I've, I've, you guys have hammered this into my brain. It doesn't matter where you are. Um, in Eve, whether it be high sec, low sec, null sec, um, wormhole space, when you are undocking, you are consenting to PvP. And PvP could be one on one, it could be ganking, it could be gate camping, it could be fleet attacks. Um, but when you undock, and this is what she's saying in my mind, that you are consenting to PvP, and in reality, uh, that's what Eve is about, and it's what sets it apart. Now, high sec is a little bit safer. In a weird way, it isn't. Um, I've learned that over the last little while, but I think that's what, what I said, and I really appreciate this comment. This really goes along exactly the way I kind of view the game. Uh, Hector A86, the biggest problem has always been that there's no effective way to counter them. Uh, nothing wrong with gankers hurting you, but the very wrong that you can't hurt them back. Uh, I agree with Hector here. I talked about it in the previous video when I kind of brought up ganking. The only negative that I find with ganking is the whole rookie... When I learned about the whole rookie ship thing, where they use rookie ships to then destroy the gankers so it gets rid of the kill rights. There's so many things that could be done in regards to this by CCP to fix this. Force people to actually um, buy the ships that they're making. Rookie ships don't cost anything. Um, and uh, basically, uh, and I have a fix for it in my own brain. Um, and I don't think it would take that much of a programming difference. Um, make it so that rookie ships cannot destroy player characters. They have the ability to destroy NPCs, to run missions, especially for those people that first start the game. Uh, you can travel in them, but make it so that um, rookie ships can't... Um, am I docked up? Am I stupid? Oh, I'm in high sec. Okay. So, but I'm not dead yet, am I? Okay, I'm going to dock up. <laughs> I just realized that. So I could be sitting here talking and... So, um, <laughs> just sitting here, just a, a lame duck. Um, that would be kind of my fix. Or, uh, in general, the only reason why I thought about this, change it so that you can't lower your safety setting to uh, partially make it high because, ah, see, right there, sorry, um, I need to undock here. That is exactly what I was talking about. Um, that Those are the gankers right there. Let me just jump back out of here. Mm -hmm. It's not them. It's the rookie ships that were destroyed um, by uh, either by Concord. Um, so what ends up happening is the gankers go and destroy whoever they're doing. Then they get the kill rights. And see all these rookie ships that are dead here? This is just junk. And if you removed off the ability of the guys to create these rookie ships, that they actually have to build their own, I don't think it would be a huge cost, but it would be both a cost in ISK and in money, rather than being able to use these rookie ships. So they would have to set up another level of stuff. So that is something. Look at all these bodies here. I knew I, there was a guy I used to play with. He used to like to create, uh, collect corpses. I think there's plenty of people that do that. 
it would be really awesome if it was very similar to remember and i don't know if any of you have seen it most of you probably have uh, the movie serenity um uh, at the end of it, where they have to take the bodies and latch them to the ship so they can get through the Reapers area. Imagine if you could take the bodies of the th people that you killed and put them on the outsides of the ships. That would be ridiculous. Um, uh, part of me wants it and part of me doesn't. Because I don't want my dead corpse flying around on the front of somebody else's ship. Um, so, um, great comment there. So many... My simplest thing would be to increase the cost. Make it so that somebody um, can't uh, use rookie ships to blow up other ships. It would clean things up a little bit. Yes, it would not fix the problem, but you throw a little bit of a problem in there, a little bit more, make it a little bit more work for them, in my mind. Maybe there's other things you could do. If you guys have any ideas, uh, please feel free to put the comments in there. Uh, I'm sorry, Dave. Freaking love you, man. Uh, yeah, I think CCP are letting high sick gankers off a little easy. Oh, with rookie ship, with the rookie ship BS. I'm sure that stands for battleship. I'm sure, uh, I didn't know there was a rookie ship battleship that's out there. <clears throat> Not a problem with gankers being in the game at all, but the balance is off for me, and I agree with you 100%. Good to be back took some time off game reset uh, so he's all back oh and he told me that i need to watch nightcrawler i remember this uh with jake Gyllenhaal. hall i have not yet i will um if you plan to keep on doing the if it bleeds it leads thing um <laughs> appreciate that man and then uh lewis Steele, you rule too uh definitely agree at the very least they should need to lose t1 frigates uh dude we're on the same page 100% agree. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, really great comments. If you guys have other comments, what I would maybe like to do, like I've said in the past, I'm going to be going on vacation for about 15 days. I'm making this series of 15 videos that I can post during that time while I'm away. I can schedule them out. When I get back, if you have more ideas or comments, maybe I can do a much more organized video maybe take some screenshots of the blobs maybe take some screenshot and maybe do some research on the numbers revolving around um, gate camping if you guys have any um, fleet compositions for gate camps um, because I know there's different types um, depending on what types of uh, ships are you're going to use um, how much money you want to put out there uh, you can drop that in the comments. Love to make a real long video. I mean, this one's long, but a uh, much more informative video than this one. <laughs> I mean, this one had a lot of info from you guys. Uh, I wanted to get it up there because, uh, to be blunt about it, the video that I did last night, and I thought it was helpful. It showed me getting out of uh, Nullsec. Um, it was a little bit of a chore, but I had set up some save spots. Um, and I wanted to get this one up because it was the video that I really wanted to do last night, but I just didn't have the energy for it. So I'm actually going to post this in a couple hours once it uploads. So it's not going to be the normal 11 o'clock thing. And then I'll try to do another video for tomorrow. But other than that, that's all I got. Thank you so much for all your help with this. And um, I hope you guys have a great weekend or ha are having a great weekend. Fly safe, fly dangerously, fly however that you want. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.